Hello, and welcome to another tutorial from Cami Page Boutique. I'm Brooke Tannehill, and today I'm going to show you how I made this snowman acrylic blank Christmas ornament. As always, all the products I use will be listed in the description below, and you may even find a coupon code or two that saves you some coin. Come join our exclusive Facebook group where you can take advantage of upcoming freebies and giveaways that you aren't going to want to miss. So without further hesitation, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I'm going to preface this with this Christmas ornament I was able to get done from start to finish in about 30 minutes. So these are super easy to do. I think they're absolutely adorable and AB Design Co. makes this so easy and I'm gonna show you how in just a minute. Now, this is a four inch Christmas ornament from Cami Page Boutique. I will list them down in the description box below. And the reason why I wanna call out that this is four inches is because the faces that we will be using on this are a little bit bigger than normal. So I wanted to create a bigger ornament to really use these faces that we're going to be using. So I'm just going to scuff up the surface of the ornament using just the normal sanding block, spray it down with alcohol, wipe it down, and then I am going to just use painter's tape to kind of block off that top section because I definitely want to do a two-tone ornament. Now, I absolutely love this brand of UV resin. It's called Paduo. It levels amazingly. It cures really well. I don't have to like nuke it under my UV lamp for a long period of time, but I'm gonna pour about five milliliters of the UV resin into a medicine cup. And then this is champagne from AB Design Co. And I'm just going to put enough glitter in there to kind of cover the top of that UV resin. And I'm going to slowly, I know this is sped up, so it looks like I'm doing it super fast, but you want to slowly mix in the glitter so that you're not introducing a bunch of bubbles. Otherwise it's going to kind of make the UV resin look milky. But once I have that good and covered, I'm just going to use my spatula. These spatulas are actually from Artistry Epoxy, and I absolutely love them for my UV ornaments. It is, they just cover so well and really get the resin spread out really evenly over the entire surface that I'm covering. Now, you'll notice that I'm letting that center hole kind of just fill in. That's absolutely fine. I'm gonna show you why in a second. I did put that under the UV lamp for about 90 seconds and now I'm coming in with a second coat right here. So it's the same resin that we mixed up before. I'm just making sure to wipe off any of the excess on the outside and then I'm going to put it under the lamp for about another 90 seconds. So this does have two coats of the glitter on it and that is because I don't want it to be too transparent um, when we go to pull the backing off. Once we cured that that second time, I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife and run it along the top edge of that UV resin and the painter's tape. And what this does is it just lets, gives me a nice crisp line um, for the top of the ornament. Now I'm going to put two to three coats of UV resin over the top of this so we don't have to worry about it coming off. But this is my secret hack. So this is a body reamer. It actually is used in RC cars. Um, I don't know what it is used for, but it works perfectly for getting all of the UV resin out of the top of the ornament hole and it leaves it nice and crisp. And look at that. It's just best hack my husband ever taught me. Don't tell him that I'm giving him credit, but seriously, the thing works amazingly. Once I'm done with that step, I'm going to put quite a bit of UV resin into this cup. So I'm gonna start off with about 10 milliliters and then I'm going to grab Angel Dust from AB Design Co. And I'm just going to cover the top of that resin. And again, mix it up just like we did with the gold, just slowly introducing the glitter into the UV resin. And again, just take your time. You don't want to introduce a bunch of bubbles into the resin because then it just is milky and not as beautifully shiny as we would like it to be but just make sure that the glitter is thoroughly mixed up. Sometimes you can let it sit for maybe like a minute and it will mix up really well. And then you're just gonna come in and ice it like a cupcake. So just take your time. And again, using these spatulas, you'll see how wonderful um, it just glides on to the ornament. And don't worry about making it perfect. It's just 
you're just icing a cookie don't stress about it but one thing I really recommend doing is making sure that you're looking at the ornament at different angles and what that allows you to do is to make sure that you've got coverage everywhere you don't have any kind of divots and just moving it around and letting that light kind of tell you if you've got everything evenly coated is absolutely the best kind of way I have found to make sure that I'm getting everything nice and coated as I move around the ornament so I'm just taking my time up at the top making sure that I'm getting that UV resin as close to that gold that we had already laid down it's a lot easier than you think it is you don't have to be like perfectly like precision icing spreader um, but just make sure that you got everything nice and coated and make sure to check your edges so I do this and then one thing I like to do is I hit it with a torch and um, a lot of people use a heat gun but I found that the torch gets out any of those bubbles and then what it also does is because it's introducing that heat to the UV resin it really lets everything kind of spread out evenly and look really nicely so make sure everything's coated and then I will come in with my torch and pop any bubbles and just allow that to kind of lay flat so you'll see here how well that kind of just lets everything fall into place and then I'm going to put it under the lamp for about 90 seconds once that is curing so to say I'm going to mix up another 10 milliliters of the UV resin with the angel dust glitter just because I want to make sure that I'm giving it a nice bright white look and feel um, you absolutely could get away with one coat of the resin I just like to double it up because I think it really adds some more vibrancy to the glitter so exact same thing that we did before slowly mix in the glitter and then we are going to ice our ornament now I almost took out the second part out of the video because I kind of already showed you guys how to do this before, but I really wanted to show the contrast or like the difference a second coat of glitter makes. You can really see here how much that glitter just pops with that simple second coat. Um, and it really, I think makes the, it made the, the ornaments and the glitter and everything just come out that much better. So I'm just going to ice this the same way that we did before. Um, and even with the top of the ornament where we did the two gold glitter layers, it just really helps it to look like a nice finish and professionally made because you guys are all rock stars when it comes to your crafting projects ornaments that you can sell or give as gifts and nobody's gonna be like oh did you just make this in your spare time more like oh this thing rocks and they're happy to put it on their Christmas tree so just take your time again I'm going to put this under the lamp for another 90 seconds and then becomes the fun part which I hope you guys are excited about now, when I told you that you can get this ornament done in less than 30 minutes, you're probably like, yeah, except for cutting these out on my Cricut alone would take me 30 minutes. Well, here is the hack that makes this so easy and I love these. So these are snowman faces from AB Design Co. They are printed on clear vinyl and they just pop so well um, over these ornaments because it's got like the white ink behind the color. So like the orange and pink and then the black just really pops. So I'm just kind of sizing this on the ornament, cutting off any excess and you can see it just lays perfectly. And then I'm just going to simply remove the backing. And if this could not get any easier Easier, you just plop this beautiful smiling face down on the ornament and this baby is good to go so you honestly could stop here you don't have to put any more UV resin over the top of this except I have to be extra and I did so you could stop here but I'm going to kind of show you what I did now granted I'm gonna show you how to like kind of get the extra UV resin off the side so don't stop there like you want to do this step all I'm doing is taking my exacto knife and just running it along the edge and you can see it just pops right off you just put some pressure on there and it just cleans up those edges and makes them all nice and just so beautiful like you have been doing this for years and this isn't your first acrylic blank that you've ever done and it just really gives that nice finishing detail that you would want in your craft projects so but back to what I was saying is you could just stop there you don't have to put any more UV resin over the top of the faces or the clear uh, vinyl that we put down because it's a high it's a very high quality product it's printed on like the orcal um vinyl i believe is the brand of it but it's just got it's really great stuff but i'm going to show you how i finish these because i think it's just a nice layer that adds more kind of cuteness to these ornaments 
For this step, I poured another 10 milliliters of the UV resin into a medicine cup, and this is Glorious from AB Design Co. And this epoxy additive is so beautiful. It's just, it does not add any color to it, so I don't want you guys to think that. But when it glistens, it's got kind of gold undertones to it. So I thought it was perfect for kind of the colors that we're using on this ornament. So I'm going to slowly mix that in to the UV resin. And just like we did on the other steps, we're just going to ice the cookie. It's kind of the easiest way to put it. So we're just going to make sure that we've got a nice even coat over the entire surface of the ornament. This goes a little bit easier because you don't have to worry about um, the glitter kind of spreading that out as evenly. Um, it's a nice step and it just gives a little bit of shimmer to the vinyl that we laid down. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to put it under the UV lamp for a good 90 seconds and then I'm I'm going to come in with another 10 milliliters of just plain UV resin to give it a nice glossy coat and kind of lock all of this beautifulness in for this ornament. Once that's done, again, I'm going to put it under the lamp for a good 90 seconds and then we're ready to remove the backing. For me, this is the most satisfying step of this whole project. You just get your X-Acto knife, lift up, and it comes right off. I just make sure to kind of clean up any of the edges that might have some stray kind of UV resin on them. Um, just here, I'm just taking my knife. Um, just be careful, don't poke yourself. And this baby is done. I think this ornament turned out so cute, and I hope this tutorial inspired you, and I can't wait to see what you create. If you have any questions about any of the steps or information, please feel free to reach out and I'll be more than happy to help. As always, thank you for watching. It really means a lot to me. If you like this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see future videos. You can also ring the bell so you're notified of all future cup making goodies. Thank you again. Love you guys. Bye.